Hey guys and welcome to Arctic. So in this video we'll see how to insert a node at the beginning of a linked list. Now to insert a node at the beginning of a linked list you should know how to create a node and how to allocate memory to the node. Okay now I've already made a video on this topic you can check the video on my channel. Now to insert a node at the beginning of a linked list there can be two possibilities. The first case is that the list is empty and the second case is that the list is not empty. So in this video we'll see both the cases and we'll see the logic first and then we'll see the code okay now the first case is that the list is empty okay so initially the list is empty so we have start here why because every linked list will have a pointer called as start start is a pointer that will store the address of the first element of the linked list now here we don't have any element therefore start is having a null value okay now after this to insert the node we have to create and allocate the node okay so here you can see we have created a node and we have allocated the node with a address that is new ptr okay now that is new ptr is the pointer that is having the address of this node now after this you can see in the data field we have stored 20 in the pointer field we have stored null why because a new node will not point to any other node hence in every new node you will store a null value in the pointer field now after this we have to follow only one simple step that is we have to do start is equal to new ptr that is this code okay so after this start will point to this new ptr hence new ptr is stored inside this start so in this way start will store the address of new ptr that is the new node okay so in this way we can make the uh, we can insert a node at the beginning of the linked list so only one simple step that is start is equal to new ptr so let us see how to insert a node at the beginning of a non empty list okay so now the list is not empty so in this list we have two nodes okay initially we have two nodes okay so here we have start and start is storing the address of 1000 why because the first node is 1000 here okay and you can see we have stored 2000 in the first node because 2000 is, is the address of second node and we have null stored inside this last node okay and after this what we'll do is we'll first create the node to insert inside this linked list okay so we'll create the first we'll create the node so this is the node and new ptr is a pointer having the address of this node okay you can see null is stored inside this pointer field okay so after creating the node what we'll do is we'll make new ptr's pointer that is this pointer point to this first node okay so you can see now new ptr's pointer is having the address of this first node you can see new ptr to next is equal to start why because start is having value of 1000 that is address of first node so here you can see new ptr is pointing to the first node that is initial first node okay now after this we'll make start point to new ptr okay so after this you can see now start is pointing to new ptr so we have to do this thing that is start is equal to new ptr so as soon as we execute this line this old link is broken okay hence now start is pointing to this new ptr so in this way our node is added to the beginning of this link list so here start is the start pointer then we have new ptr as the first node then we have this thing as the second node okay so let us see some important points the first thing is that you have to make start as a global variable okay. So in every linked list program, you have to make start as global variable. Now after this, while creating a node, you have to always assign the next pointer as a null. Okay. The third point is we have insert a node. We have to create a function and take the new nodes pointer as argument. Okay. So we'll see this in the code. So here is the function to insert a node at the beginning of a linked list. Okay. So in this function, we are taking one argument of type node pointer. Okay. Now after this, Inside this, this part is for empty list. That is, if the list is empty, that is, if start is equal to null. Okay, we know that when the list is empty, we have start is equal to null. Okay, so when the list is empty, what we do is we make start is equal to new ptr. So in this way, we can insert the node in the empty list. And the second case is of else part. That is, in the else part, we'll write new ptr to next is equal to start. The first thing, and then we'll write start is equal to new ptr. So in this way, we can insert the node at the beginning of a linked list. 